This presentation covers org chart platinum and its ability to create organization charts from SAP. So this presentation will go through the examples of how this can be done and the methods for it. When importing from SAP, we have choices. We can import an SAP XML file or we can connect directly to the SAP server to import the database. This presentation will cover the latter how to import from the SAP database, thereby creating the organization charts. Keep in mind that when we are in SAP, the data structure is based on org units, positions, and persons. And here's an example of a hierarchy of org units. This is the highest level of hierarchy within the SAP data structure. Next, we proceed to see that within each org unit, there can be positions. So we can have no positions, a single position, or multiple positions, which are showing up as titles within each one of these boxes. Adding to that, to the org unit and each position, positions may have no people within them. They may have a single person, or they may have multiple people. And as you can see, each one of these boxes is showing the name of a person, with the exception of the two on the lower right side, the first one shows in org unit four shows that the SVP of treasury is an open position. And to the right, we see that there is a position of controller with two employees in it. So you can see SAP has the ability to handle various numbers of individuals within a position. So we move over to the org chart platinum application, and we're gonna show you how to do an import from the server. First, we go to file, then the import wizard. And then you can take a look and see that our last two options here are to import an XML file from SAP or direct connect to the SAP server, which is what we're going to do. The first thing we have to do is determine the credentials, which would be available to the SAP user. We'll fill those out. And then we're going to proceed to next. Before we do that, we will test to make sure that we have a valid connection to the SAP server. Having done that, we move to the next dialog, which is going to target which branch of the organization that we want to chart. In our example, we have an extended object ID, and that's the field that we're going to be filling so that we can determine how the chart is going to be formatted. And if you'll also notice that a little bit lower in this dialog, there's a checkbox for to mark any open position where we have a position without a person in it. We'll mark it and flag it as open. I proceed. Notice that the hierarchy can be viewed on the right-hand side. So we've determined the SAP hierarchy and also you'll see that blanked out are the options to change the hierarchy. That's because we're going by SAP's definition of the hierarchy. We go to next. These are the fields that will show on each org chart box. And finally, pagination will break it down at each level within the org. Notice also below that we're going to be grouping subordinates by position ID. So any case where we have a org unit with multiple positions, they will be grouped. We go next and we finish. And behold, we have our organization chart. So this structure is showing us all of the gray boxes are the org units. And we have one org unit in particular that has a position in it of chief information officer. This is the one on the lower right hand side. And in yellow, we see the name of the individual who is in that position. Next, we can drill through the organization. And as you can see, from the SAP database, we have the org units, the positions, people within those positions. If I drill further down, we can look and see that we have an open position. So here is an org unit, which is quality assurance, with a 
director position and there's no person within it so that's shown as open and the others as we can see had names in them furthermore as we go through the organization we can see branches that are only org units and do not have positions nor do they have people and then the others we can see have no people within those positions and they're all shown as open positions to be filled Here's another example where we have an org unit that has multiple positions within it. It is the one we see on the far left hand side and it groups org units 5 through 8. Those positions are grouped because they share the same position ID. So this grouping function is available to us. So there you can see we dress the chart up and now you can see that this is the example of pulling data from an SAP server. Also remember that things like our dynamic report writer, we can pull information organized by org unit, position, and person, create reports. Those reports give us all the detail, giving us visibility into the SAP system, and then we can even push this out to Excel. So this is a quick example of how to connect to an SAP server to create organization charts. Any questions you have, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at officeworksoftware.com. Thank you.